Hi, hello, good evening. This is Nagarajan from uh, Market Decoder channel and this is the second video on the sector analysis video series and this is going to be the video for one important and one very good booming sector which is going to be the auto sector and everywhere we are uh, hearing about the auto sector and electric vehicles and which is going to get a very good boom in the next few years. and. Uh, in the, in the in the market perspective, uh, perspective these are going to be the companies which are manufacturing its own uh, spare parts and uh, which is going to be a very good company in the next upcoming years and uh, i'm going to show you what are the levels which these companies are going to be in the next few years and uh, it is going to be purely long term investment plans and uh, that is going to be like uh, every single stock is going to give us almost not less than 50 to 60 percent in the next few years. So let us get into the video and look after the, all these uh, companies one by one. So uh, we'll be seeing Excel Industries and Amar Raja batteries which are manufacturing uh, batteries and Asahi is going to be the company which is uh, a manufacture the glasses and uh, side mirrors for all electric all auto sectors and Lumax Industries a very good company a very old company indeed which is manufacturing the lights and uh, dooms doom lights for all the auto sectors and Madhasumi is a is a company is a well-known company for uh, ma manufacturing these auxiliaries and Minda is one of a good company which is also one uh, old company we have Minda car in the same uh, stock as well so Gabriel is one of the company which is uh, manufacturing all the accelerators for the auto sector and uh, obviously I'm not going to talk about MRF as it is uh, one single stock is almost 83,000 so uh, right now it is not the correct time to invest in this so I'm not talk going to talk about MRF I'll be talking about Apollo and uh, Seat tires so let us get into the video if anybody haven't subscribe the channel so far please do subscribe and support us so i'm going to post all the levels and charts in my telegram channel hope whoever is interested to join the tele free telegram channel can please come and join i'll be posting the telegram link in the below description of this video so let us get into the video so let us first take a look at our cnx auto that is a nifty auto index and right now the nifty auto index is in a good bullish theme and almost uh, we got a v-shaped recovery and uh, these are going to be the immediate targets which is going to be right now the nifty auto index is at uh, 10,119 in the next few months we will be seeing or weeks or months we will be seeing 10,565 and uh, next would be 10,918 and the upcoming target for the third target is going to be 11,293 so these are going to be the target in near and uh, mid terms after few corrections we will be seeing a long term target of 14,932 this is going to be an Elliott wave level and a Fibonacci level as well so it will take some at least uh, 4 or 5 years to attain this target but definitely it will hit so auto industry is not going to be doomed it will definitely boom with the electric vehicles and the need for electric vehicles so obviously the target will be achieved easily and beyond that also we have targets but let us look for this target in next few years so we'll go one by one as uh, shown in the picture so one by one companies will uh, see starting from Excite Industries so let us uh, talk about the chart what does the price action tells us about the chart so the chart is almost in the near supply zone for Excite industry Excite batteries so once this 208 is getting closed we will be seeing the next target of 232 and uh, 240 plus will be the second target and the third target will be around uh, 300 plus that will be uh, coming in the next few years maybe uh, not less than a uh, two to two and a half years it may be a uh, it may give another good round of rally which will give us another 40 to 50 percent from this level so so Excite Industries is one good industry everybody would have known about Excite batteries so there is no much introduction required for this good company so let us get into our uh, next chart and next company 
So this is one of the good company, my favorite stock because uh, previously we gave the call at uh, 600 levels and uh, right now the stock is around 994 and this one uh, is a good company because it is a very uh, debt free company having a very good uh, volume in recent months and obviously we have a good v-shaped recovery and we see a good multi-year breakout it is almost from 2015 there was a range bound and there was a good decline during the corona season and after that there is a good boom scene and we got a v-shaped recovery after that this here we got a multi-year breakout so the next target would be around uh, the near term target will be around 1083 and after that here it is going to be a long term target it may be some uh, it may come in the next two to three years but it is going to be another 50 percent from the current level which is around uh, 1541 these are going to be i haven't given stock losses to any stock because these are going to be few long term investments so long term investment definitely these stocks will get, hit the targets without any doubt so before investing you can definitely go ahead and do your your own research and put uh, money accordingly in the all the stocks equally i will suggest so that none of the stocks will get uh, your total portfolio will not be damaged it will be like it it will do wonders for you even it will give you a car whole car you can you can buy one car after few years with the profits which has been given by these stocks so next comes are uh, in the row Asahi in India. So this company which manufactures glasses and uh, mirrors and for uh, the auto sector or industry. So here also we see a good multi-year breakout. So it is from almost from far three years it was a decline and after that in, even in the corona there was a sharp fall followed by a good rally. So this good rally is will be continuing. So here again it will give a retest. If it is giving a retest we can go ahead and buy at 271 range. And uh, the next uh, few months, after a few months, uh, we'll be seeing the target of uh, 378 and the long term target of 537. So again, it is going to be another 60 to, 60 to 70 percent of uh, revenue or uh, profits will be generated from this stock. So these all these are going to be very good quality stocks in auto industry. That is why I have uh, picked the stocks and diversified your portfolio so that uh, every single portfolio will have good quality stocks and good profits yielded in next few years so let us get into next company so which is going to be our lumax industries old company well-known company so right now this is given a good cup on handle and it has respected a long-term trend line see here you can see this it is a long-term trend line from 2009 even after such a fall the company didn't fall beyond this it fell down but it didn't close below this trend line it got support here and again what happened it regained its momentum and what happened it has now recent in the last two months it has given a multi-year breakout so here we got from uh, almost three years of uh, after three years this breakout has come so it is going to be a cup and handle former uh, pattern and the target after breaking out after the scandal is going to be the size of this head so that is what i have measured here and kept it obviously this is going to be our uh, long term target the first target is going to be around 1672 and the second target is around 9984 and third target is going to be 2630 plus so our uh, let us get into our uh, next company which is going to be uh, Mother Sumi. Our uh, Mother Sumi is uh, we got a very uh, straight forward pattern. This is going to be a good V-shaped recovery. And uh, once we have got a breakout here, so once this breakout is done, we can just clone the V-shape, and uh, that is what I have done. And uh, the immediate targets are going to be 212, and the midterm target is going to be 310 plus, and obviously the long-term target is going to be close to 495 or 500 plus for this company. So the 500 plus target will come not in a month or two. It will take at least three, four, three, four years to five plus years. Obviously, long term investment are going to be for five plus years. So in next five plus five plus years, these stocks will give definitely more than 200 percent from the current levels. Okay, let us get into our next company, which is going to be Minda Corp. 
Minda Corp, it is also a very good setup here we got here. So there was a long cons consolidation happening from 2017. There was a spike, after that it retested, after that it again gained the momentum, after that it was a long consolidation. Right now it has given a breakout and this consolidation is around 98%. Uh, next 98% it will definitely run in next few years. This pattern is going to be a very good strong pattern. Obviously, it is going to be a multi-year breakout. Obviously, when multi-year breakout is seen, it will definitely give you a very good returns in the next few years. If the market supports, it will come in the one or two years, even one or two years. If there is some corrections or crash, it will take some time. But definitely, in the long run, definitely it will give very good returns, almost 100% returns from the current level. So the first target is going to be around 463 and the second target is going to be 549 and the third target is going to be 800 plus. Okay, let us get into our the next, next company which is going to be Gabriel India. So here we go, here we go. This is one, this is also one good company. So it is also a good company and the old company. So if you see the good pattern it is a very it is a very good pattern it is having a very good structure in the recent years from 2015 there has been a very good decline and a sharp fall in the corona season after that there is a multi year breakout here so the stock is going to travel all the way upside and the first target is going to be around 136 159 181 and 285 is going to be another 100% targets will be there for the Gabriel India in the next few years. So we will get into the, our next company which is going to be Seat, the tire industry. This is also one uh, having a very good setup. So in the recent fall obviously Seat went down all the way and it touched exactly around 5, uh, 595 was the previous low. And this time it went till 600 levels it is obviously a clear double bottom and the targets of double bottom is going to be 100 percent 100 percent is already done but still i strongly believe in this company which can do wonders in next few years so almost target is 100 more than 100 percent it has done but still we have some more targets pending in this company and uh, there are a lot of news is around uh, there is a uh, uh, there are uh, tires which are going to hit the market which doesn't have tubes even without air there are tires going to be manufactured and seared is in the pipeline for manufacturing those kind of tires so obviously people will be more, very much interested because there will be no much damage no air is required no puncture will be there so obviously this company is going to get big hit in the long term so these are going to be the company's uh, targets 1332 1004, 39, 1620 and the long term target is around 2000 plus. So the last and final company which is going to be Apollo Tires. Apollo Tires is also having a good structure. It has a good uh, given taken a good support here. It went down but still regained the momentum and it started moving up. It started moving up and it gave a good multi year breakout and right now also it is in a good pattern if you go to the weekly it will be getting a good pattern so here we go again the momentum is begun so this should be the minimum it should not be taken out in a monthly until then we can take an again we can take an entry here till 133 to 135 range again we can wait for a long term investment for this in this company so which is going to be 236 288 and 358 plus in the next few years so all these companies are going to be very good for long term investment in auto sector and uh, please be st stay with us i'll come back with a very good sector analysis in the next video series Please do subscribe and support till that. If you have any comments, please do post your comments. If you want any companies to be analyzed fundamentally and technically, please do post your comments. We'll get back to that company and post my reviews. Till that, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.